Today we're going to talk uh, plank cooking on gas grills. So here we've got some uh, cedar planks that we have uh, soaked in some water on a sheet tray and we just have some uh, canned, uh, canned goods to weigh it down. We let them soak for about an hour. First we're going to take the cedar plank and we're going to put one side down and get that going. We're going to get it nice and charred and blacked on that one side, it's kind of starting to dry it out so it'll start smoking. It's been about 15 minutes and we're going to check our wood plank, see if it's charred. Yep, which it is. So we're going to add our salmon to that. We're going to put that salmon on there skin side down. All right, so here we are. Here's another little thing I want to show you. See how it's flaming up? It looks like it flamed up during the cook a little bit. You can see where it burned. So it's always nice to have a water bottle on hand. Maybe you can tame that so you don't get that burning action. Especially if you have uh, a rub or anything on there, it has a high sugar, it's going to burn a lot quicker. And I don't think we want that taste. Another little way you can tell that your salmon is ready, you can see the protein, those little white protein droppings are starting to come out of the, the meat there and that pretty much means it's done. When you're cooking that salmon, that skin is going to stick to the plank so you can actually level your spatula underneath the skin and it'll, the skin will come right off. Feel free to use this plank cooking on any types of meat, you know, pork tenderloin, beef tenderloin, uh, even duck breast will work well. Uh, it's a good way to impart smoke flavor out of a gas grill. Enjoy.